the flagship from Patek Philippe is the World Time Flyback Chronograph. We'll go over it next at Swiss Watch Expo, fresh from the showcase. It's interesting what Patek Philippe, normally when you're collecting uh, Patek Philippe watches, you have to sort of choose which function you want. They either have chronographs or they have world times or they have uh, various complications that are available, at annual calendars, moon phases, but they rarely overlap these. And it's interesting because to me, sort of the, the standard complication of uh, a date on a watch is something that you just come to expect. A lot of watches don't have them though. The Rolex Daytona does not have a date and the watch we're about to talk about does not have a date on it. Um, I think that that's one thing that really helps simplify a, a, a dial that could become cluttered. When you look at this watch, it's the Reference 5930 from Patek Philippe. And this is a watch that came out in 2016. It's interesting because Patek Philippe, you might not realize it, they didn't do a fully in-house chronograph movement until 2006. So just 10 years later, here they came out with this one, which to me, this one is, you know, it earns its right as being considered the flagship complication from Patek Philippe. The 5930 incorporates a flyback chronograph as well as the world time function. So we've talked about the world time here before, instead of just showing one additional time zone like a GMT watch, you see all 24 main time zones displayed at the same time. Now, as you travel, you simply push the travel button here and it changes the time on your main clock, but it also rotates which city is at 12 o'clock. That's your sort of home reference city. And I just moved it from New York to La Paz and so it went from 9.15 a.m. to 10.15 a.m. But as you read around the edge, you can see the day and the night indicator and all the 24 main cities that are in the 24 main time zones at the same time. So it's an amazing function and really handy. It's really sort of a travel computer, uh, a, a time computer built into the watch so that it does all the thinking for you. All you have to do is push the button and change time zones as you travel and it'll sort everything else out. The chronograph function on this one is a flyback chronograph, which I love. It's a vertical clutch, so you could run it all the time, which is great because there's no running seconds hand on this watch to get in the way. And that's one reason that you can run it all the time and it not it cause any sort of excessive wear to the gear train or to the movement itself. But when you start here, um, as the second hand comes around, you'll see the minutes counter at six. There's no hours counter on this watch either. So that sort of simplifies it a little bit from again, what could become a complicated looking dial, but you can either stop to record your time with the top pusher or while it's going, let's just say your, uh, your horse, your car, whatever it is, finishes a lap and you want to start it without losing any time. You just go ahead and restart with the bottom pusher and it just snaps back to zero and keeps going. So you don't lose that second or two it might take you to stop and reset and then restart again. So it's an incredible movement and uh, the case on this watch is just beautiful. It's 18 karat white gold, uh, which it really since 2006 has been gray gold at Patek Philippe, which is a great alloy because it doesn't require any kind of top coating with rhodium or any other metal to make it really, really white. And it's so it's the same color all the way through. If you were to get a scratch, it's the same color underneath. The case itself, I find a lot more um, sort of straight and angular, not as curved as the 5110 or the 5130 world times that we've talked about here before. It's an interesting case because it has a sort of a conical bezel and then the crystal sits up above the level of the bezel. The lugs are attached. They're not you know, formed in one block like you see on say a Rolex day date. And I think these, extra lines and angles give it a really sophisticated look. Um, the pushers here are the lozenge shape that was very popular in the late 40s, early 50s. So it's sort of a throwback vintage look on those. 
Of course, it has the Patek Philippe Calatra, the seal on the crown. The exhibition case back really shows you that beautiful movement. It's the CH28520 movement. And of course, it has the Patek Philippe seal. So every screw head is polished and chamfered and beveled and uh, has all the Cote de Genève decoration and all the attention to detail you would expect. The 18 karat white gold deployant buckle, of course, has the Calatrava seal on it as well. And the dial, uh, I kind of saved the dial for last because the dial on those other world time watches, the 5110 and 5130, are the things that are a little bit controversial, a little divisive of whether people like them or don't like them. Petek Philippe has reverted to straight hands on this one. So they got away from the really unusual hour hand that we saw in one of those other watches. The center of the dial is not a contrasting color, it's blue. And it has this beautiful pattern that is the, uh, the guilloche engraved into it. And it has silver and white, which these color combinations of silver, white, and blue with the white gold just really sets it off. And then you have a beautiful strap there to just finish out. I mean, it's like the icing on the cake. But to me, this is probably the most beautiful dial. I know I keep saying that about other watches as well, but this one really takes the cake for me. It is a dial that is gorgeous. It's just casual enough with the blue accents that you could really get a lot of wear out of it. It is water resistant and sapphire crystals front and back. So it's very practical to wear all the time, but you could really dress it up as well and wear it with a suit. Um, to me, this would be my go-to watch if I had this one. I would probably end up giving it the most wrist time of anything in my collection. I can't imagine picking something else up really if I had this one. So I think that this one would be perfectly at home on your wrist. Hope that uh, you give us a call and see if it's still in stock. Uh, hit the bell, like, and subscribe. Um, but check out our website. And if you just type in world time up at the top where it says search 2000 plus watches, you'll see everything that we have in the world time uh, category. We also have a lot of travel times in stock right now. We have one of the biggest Patek Philippe collections I've ever seen. When I worked for an authorized dealer, we had one watch in stock. And here at Swiss Watch Expo, I think we currently have over 150 Patek Philippe's in stock ready to ship. So give us a call. Let us know which ones you like, and uh, we'll figure out a way to help you get that transaction closed and get it on your wrist.